Hey everybody, thanks for joining for another edition of Game Room Collectibles. Um, we'll not get as many laughs as the last one did. We're coming up with another funny one in the future. Know, this could be funny. It could be funny, but it, it won't be as funny. I could fall down. That would be funny. <laughs> But this week is not going to be a list of 20, two different lists. It's going to be just one list, and it's going to be top 10 designs we would like to see on a pinball machine. Um, there's all themes. kinds of uh, themes, right? There's all kinds of themes you can think of, just the games we would, would have loved to have seen made, or would still like to see made. Freezing my niz ups off in here. It's not as cold, <laughs> yeah. It's not as cold as over. Uh, back wall of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like Roadshow, where wherever we are, half camera will travel. Yeah. Hey, today, half camera will travel. I was I was at David Aker's house, man. What's up with that? That's awesome. Wish I could have been there. Top ten places we've gone to film videos, David Aker's place. No, no, no. But anyway. Yeah, that's, that's going to be number one on the list for now, for sure. But... This week it's also going to feature a little extra piece to it. We're going to have a three top ten list. Yeah, Ray's hiding out behind the camera. Ray's hiding out behind the yeah. camera. He's going <laughs> to he's going to throw in uh, his he, top he, ten. Yeah, so I came up with top ten, man. Awesome. Some of them are good. By the time you participate. And yeah. I guessed before we started this yeah. that we would match on three. Okay. And I think I'm going to be. I I, well, I think I might be low. I got to tell you, I think my list kind of stinks. Um, I, I went to do this and I thought this will be really easy. And then when I went to do it, I found out, you know what, shit, mm. that's already been done. That's already been done. That's already been done. So I, I had difficulty in being original, um, but I'll, I'll describe my list. Um, I think, did I, who went first last week? Uh, I think I did. I went first on the top ten. I think you did. Gimmick, okay. Gimmick well, then ten, I. And then you went first on the top ten. Why pinball is better than one. Okay. Well, that was that one didn't really count for much other than getting us in a little bit of trouble, which was expected. As um, expected. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, then, um, like I like I was saying, I, I had some difficulty in in really doing this. Um, yeah, I I agree with you. I got I banged out six of them real fast. I could think of six real fast like yeah I'd love that you know these are ones I've always thought of that I'd like to see and I, and I had six real quick and then the last four it took a few hours where you know like you're saying I'd like to see this oh wait that's kind of already been done I came up with a, a couple like that still kind of have been done but put my own twist on yeah. right you know just come up with your own ideas with it so so I don't know put together your top ten list because we want to hear it now and uh, see if it's see if it's easy for you uh, the basis I really used, Jim, was I thought, well, you know what my pin collection looks like, right? Right. I think you went with um, how many pet, how cute many? furry animals. Um. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have I have zero pins. I don't right. have a pen, right? Um, for obvious reasons. But uh, I, I tried to put my list together with a thought in mind. If this pin came out, I would have to have it. That was my thinking as I was putting together this list. Your number one's Hello Kitty, right? No, uh, Downhill Bill, we did not include Hello Kitty. Uh, <laughs> I did go to Pinside, because I figured this topic had, had been had been covered here, which it, which it had been. Right. And, um, you know, I was I was really surprised at how bland those lists were. It was, it was, it was like Harry Potter. Right. You know, bleh. But there was that well, one... Everybody, well, everybody's going to have your favorite bands, you know, you want to see your favorite band on a pinball yeah, and machine. I, I had a that handful there. of movies, everybody wants to see certain movies. Right. Yeah. You know, you got to come up with at least a couple, but that's mostly what you get here. Yeah. So. Well, I kind of did that too. Um, not expecting some of these to ever get built. But again, it was like, you know, if Stern or, or JJP released this title, I would have no choice to have it. Right. So that being said, I guess I'll, I'll start with my honorable mentions. Um, there are some movie uh, movie based pins on my list. Okay. Um, the difference being, and of course you know this off the bat, is that my movies are not fresh releases, which I think is a is a problem that, that Stern's been doing for years, is you know they pick a movie that's coming out and and you don't know if it's gonna have any you know where's who's gonna remember that movie five years from now. Right. 
Um, well, you could put that in accordance with prices on like X Men and other stuff. You know, when it was yeah. out, everybody wanted it in their yeah. know, top and they, dollar. And, and now, a few years later, the prices are because who cares about the movie a few years later? So none of my movies are current. They're all old stuff that I think has uh, has lasting power for me anyway. Um, well, well, it is your list, so yeah. So um, uh, honorable mentions: the good, the bad, and the ugly. I think that would make a cool pen. Uh, Clint Eastwood always seems to make it make a good good fit for a pen. Oh, Dirty Harry. What else? Yeah, Dirty Harry. Um, good, bad, the ugly. Um, Reservoir Dogs. Hmm. Neat. I vote yes. <laughs> I'm a Quentin Tarantino fan. Raise it, raise it. You, you could just do a Quentin Tarantino oh, yeah. pen. Yeah, I was watching one last night. Yeah, I was watching Planet Terror, Grindhouse. Yeah, he made some <laughs> nice. See, I'm I'm gonna disagree with the both of you on that because no Quentin Tarantino. You know, some what? of his movies I like, and then some of them I can't stand. Like Pulp Fiction, I I will yeah, I never watch that. Pulp Fiction either. Some mm. of his movies I I do like, and like uh, like um, Django that just came out, that was good. I okay, liked it. good movie. But some of his stuff, it's, I I just he's, he's just, off. The yeah, he's a little too off. By the way, these honorable mentions did not make the top ten because I would not actually have to have. I, I would I would pass on those two, but yeah. they came to mind. I wrote them down. Yeah. All right. uh, full Metal Jacket. Yeah, that'd be a good. One. Timeless movie. Yeah. Uh, and just imagine some of the quote. Does anybody know any quotes from Full Metal Jacket? Oh my lord. Um, <laughs> do, I, do you suck dicks? <laughs> <laughs> well, that that's. That's sar what was it? Staff? So what was that guy's staff sergeant? What was the gunnery name? sergeant? Oh, gunnery sergeant. Yeah, he he was he had some really good. Yeah. Ones. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah well, I can't remember that dude's name. Good lord, he's in a lot of movies. Yeah. Well, yeah. well any fucking time, sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bullshit. Get on your knees, scumbag. Oh, that's another thing. I don't think probably any of my pins will be family friendly. No, um, I don't care. Lock the family up, friend. They don't upstairs. Uh, they yeah. don't. They don't get to play my pins. Uh, put a security code on it that you have to punch in an eight-digit code <laughs> to turn the pin on or something. I don't care. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Feel that way. Okay. That does it with the movie ones in my uh, honorable mention section. Uh, Video. There's a couple video games on mine. Uh, are we still doing honorable mentions? Yeah, these are still honorable mentions. Okay. Yes. She feels something about that. Woo! Um, Leisure Suit Larry. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> um, Leisure Suit Larry is a series of video games where the main character is like this nerd, and, and his main objective in the whole series of games is to try to go get laid. It's funny. Ray's <laughs> enjoying that back there. That's hilarious. Ray endorses Leisure Suit Larry yeah, yeah. the pinball. He was laughing the whole time the fire was making away. Leisure Suit Larry. Definitely. I haven't heard that in a while. Yeah. You, well, you know, it was initially it was initially like a, a PC computer That's game. That's what I had. I had the game. And it was so long ago that it was like it was like Atari 2600. Stick it was like... <laughs> It's like this thing. Well, okay, it's a dude. Okay. Yeah, that was funny. Uh, and my last honorable mention would be something that I would get just to have for when you come over, which would be Jenna Marbles. The, I would never come over. It would be the Jenna. It would be the Jenna Marbles. Yeah, and you wouldn't have to worry about them ever coming over. And you know, oddly enough, as, 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 as little interest as I would have in playing that, they would probably have no problem selling that. I'm not knowing what she is. Well, she's, she's the most annoying chick on YouTube, and probably the most annoying chick on the planet. Minus is that a real minus name? Nancy Grace, or whatever. I don't know what's her name, but uh, 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 she's just dits on YouTube, and she um, she's extremely popular. Yeah. Huh? Anytime I, somebody tries to show me one of her videos, I'm tuned out in two seconds. It's like no. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm instantly annoyed. Okay. okay. Never heard that. Well, there. See, I instantly annoyed you by having yes, her you on did. my list. Yes, you did. I'm all of a sudden really. <laughs> <laughs> Got Jimmy tuned up. Okay, that's the end of the dimensions. I would not buy a Jenna Marbles pin. Uh, number 10, TNT Amusements. Oh my. You, you like buying non-working pinball machines? No, well, I mean, they, they wouldn't build the pin. They no. would just be the theme of the pin. Gotcha. You know, you'd have, you'd have a, a, 
big purple costume grimace on there, <laughs> and you'd have the, the comb over king, and uh, and you'd have you know, uh, uh, yeah, somebody making a lot of noise in the background playing. Their hey, record. turn off that, turn that turn record. record player off. <laughs> somebody turn that record player off. Yeah. Who's making all that noise? Oh, we could do a top ten on that. Then. Yeah, we we still should. We still will. Don't okay, well that's number ten. If right. if if uh, if they contracted with Sterner JJP and and made a pin, uh, I would buy it. Same here, just to throw it the hell. I throw it off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number nine, and I think this is going to match everybody else. It would be my guess on this one. Although I did, I gave it a, a title, which was Get Drunk. Alcohol, the, beer, something. The alcohol-related pen. Get drunk. Um, Aaron, uh, Aaron Vinoy recently sent us a uh, message. He wanted us to help him come up with a, a pinball, pinball drinking, drinking game. game. So, you know, I don't know. This get drunk may have a tap in it. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the... I'm not, I'm not designing these pens, but take that wherever you want to sure. go. Uh, get drunk. I'll buy it. I have something similar on my list, so, yeah. Uh, my number eight has no title, although I, I kind of started to come up with some titles. I don't know. Uh, I put down Speed, High Velocity, Mach 10, Hypersonic. This... F-14 Tomcat. You know, well, this pin more, is more about design than it is theme. Just build me the fastest fucking pin you can. Whatever. Speed. Magnets under the playfield to assist speed. Just make that thing wicked fast. He wants a mag level pin, I think, Ray. Isn't that what's really fast? Mag levels? Mm -hmm. You know what it is? No. No. Tim knows what that is. So there's an original original concept pin. Right. I don't care what the artwork is. It's mag just, level might be a little expensive, though. It's just make it fast. Pull out all the stops, make it fast. That would break stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah? Keep you busy. Uh, <laughs> no, it would break glass left. Uh, number seven, another video game, Duke Nukem. <laughs> I've got balls of steel. You know what Duke yeah, Nukem is? I used to play that. <laughs> so I, you know, I, was, I, I, really I, I almost went a little bit further back and went Doom, but Doom wasn't funny. Duke Nukem. No, Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem, yeah, Nukem was, Nukem funny. was funny. funny. You know with Duke Nukem? Yeah. Uh, again, the quotes. This is KTIT. K tit. Playing the breast. Uh, you face your ass. What's the difference? <laughs> uh, what are you waiting for? Christmas? That could be, you know, when the ball's sitting in a trough. Right. <laughs> You're an inspiration for birth control. <laughs> Blow it out your ass. All this stuff. Uh, 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 where is it? I'll, I'll rip your head off and shit down your neck. <laughs> I'm an equal opportunity ass yeah, kicker. Early generation computer game. Don't get your panties all in a bunch. Damn, you're ugly. Mmm, <laughs> don't have time to play with myself. <laughs> Duke Nukem. If that came out as a pinball machine... Game over. Actually, you know what? Uh, I did play it one time. There is a virtual pin. Uh, you know, they have uh, computer pinball machines. There is a Duke Nukem... Virtual pin. Get that uh, crap out of here. I saw it. I don't know. I didn't play it. Oh. Um, that would make a cool pinball machine. Number six is a throwback movie. This is more about me than anybody else. Smokey and the Bandit. <clears throat> um, I grew up... The timing was right. I guess I was just the right age when that came out. I thought that was great. Now I watch it and I've seen it a hundred times. It doesn't really do that much for me anymore. But it's just a, it's nostalgic for me. I've owned... I don't know, four or five of that generation of Trans Ams throughout my life. and uh, I think it was a funny movie. What was the, what was the guy's name? Not Burt Reynolds, but the, uh, the, the Honeymooners guy. We were just talking about him earlier. Um, well, Ed, Ed Norton was his stage name, but he wasn't in it. Which guy? The truck uh, driver? The, uh, the Buford, T. Buford T. Justice. Buford T. Justice, oh, yeah, well. the cop. Uh, what the heck was his name? How could I just forget his name just now? I am really tired. It's he been a long shit. day. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way you came from my loin. <laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs> Some bitch. Oh, you mean Jackie Gleason? Yeah, Jackie yeah, Gleason. Yeah. yeah that's how it. could you forget him? I don't know. I'm tired. Oh, all right. Um, that would be a great pin for movie I would, theme. That would be better than some of the other movie theme pins already have been made. I would have to have that. It'll never happen I, I because it's so old and yeah. it's not going to happen. But. 
those are the kind of movies that, you know, you look at the pinball demographic, and the pinball demographic is us. And uh, frankly, when a, new, when a new pinball machine comes out, I mean, I don't know how often you see a new movie, but the movies that you love are not the movies that just came out. They're movies that you remember from back in your wheelhouse. Um, and they're not doing that. So, yeah. Number five. You've got a Metallica. You know what my number five is then. Gore. No. Megadeth. Megadeth, there you go. Megadeth is the better Metallica. Uh, here we go. Again, uh, like, just like these top ten that are opinion based, so is that, but okay. Megadeth um, kicks Metallica's ass. Similar groups, Megadeth's better in my opinion. Um, if that came out, I would have to have it. I like it. Ray likes Megadeth. Euthanasia, yeah. Good album. Rust in peace. Peace sells. But who's buying? Wake What's up that? dead. I was just listening to that. <laughs> New headphones I got. I was just listening to that. Were you really? Yeah. Euthanasia. Okay. Ray's a metalhead. Good music, but anyway. Whatever. No, I right. listen to a lot of stuff. But we don't need to argue that, because that's, uh, that's obviously just no, a lot. No, no, like just a, Megadeth. It's just a, just and I can see why they went with Metallica over Megadeth, because Metallica is the bigger number. Sure. Um, but, but you know what? Not always is the bigger number the right choice when it comes to pinball, because the pinball community is different than the bigger number. Well, yeah, like, just seeing lots of the things on pin side when Metallica come out, people talking about, what's the next music pin? A lot of people are like, Iron Maiden, need to see Iron Maiden. You know, yeah. I like Iron Maiden, but would I want to see that on pinball? Yeah, I Again, don't know. it's opinion based, and it, somebody would like that and enjoy it. I'd but rather see it than ACDC. Well, music wise, absolutely. Yeah, I certainly would rather see it than, than Rolling Stones. Sure. Or Kiss, which I guess they keep talking about whether or not that's yeah. going to happen. Yeah. So, Megadeth. Okay, I got another movie. Uh, I'm a horror movie guy, but there's so many gabillion of them. I was watching, what was that, Critters 2 last night? Boy, was that yeah. fucking horrible. It was so stupid. There were these little tumbleweed gremlin things rolling around. It was really bad. Yeah, Jim and I were talking about that. <laughs> Mike's, why Mike's watching Critters, too. Um, so, you know, I just had to pick, I had to pick one, and, and I went with uh, Evil Dead 2. Nice. Um, now, that pin I did see, and I almost bought the stinking thing. There was a guy that took a Hollywood heat and converted it over to Evil Dead. And I showed it to him. He, he did a nice fantastic man. job. I should have bought that right. That was cool. It was really well done, but it, but it was a conversion. It's, it, it's, it wouldn't be as nice as if Sterner JJP said, here, we're going to do this. Yeah. And half of his reasoning on that is because of how much he's played Hollywood Heat and how much he loves it. Yeah. Who, me? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't know. Uh, well, no. You played the hell out of that. I did. Down I do like Hollywood Heat, but... Um, it's but laid I'm, out kind of neat. It has a little thing going on up here, the mini yeah. area. But I'm not looking for uh, any any reproductions of Hollywood Heat in design or theme. Um, Evil Dead 2, uh, I think that movie is extremely funny. It is. I agree. Uh, number three. I actually have three listed for my number three because they're kind of similar. This was supposed to be top ten. And I know. It's already at like 36. Hey, you know, so. yes, this is my top 2010. Um, in increasing order. Cat Dog, okay. Courage the Cowardly Dog, mm -hmm. Ren and Stimpy. Uh -huh. uh, Ren and Stimpy is, is the strongest of the three. Um, I think that Ren and Stimpy or Cat... Now these are all discontinued comics, um, generally adult comics. I guess Cat Dog was kind of more for kids, but it was it crossed over because it was yeah. so ridiculous. It did. Um, He's going to take the whole hour up with his top 65 Thank you. list here. Um, Ren and Stimpy or Cat Dog could be, could be set up like Transformers, where you can play as either, one, either Ren or Stimpy, or you could play as either Cat or Dog. I don't know. Ren and Stimpy. It's my number three. Yeah. Number two is Guar. If you don't know who Guar is, where have you been hiding? I don't know. You, you, you know who Guar yeah, is. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh oh, Ray doesn't. Well, Ray, Ray's too old to know. Ray's friend had them do a birthday song for her and, <laughs> and email it to her. So, a couple months ago, got yeah. to see that. It was pretty funny. Rock and roll's never felt so good. Uh, Guar. I could just imagine. Can you imagine the artwork that would be on that pen? Oh my god. And my number one, Metalocalypse. It's an Adult Swim I agree. cartoon. 
Um, it is, you know, I, I forgot to look it up, but uh, the viewership on that is just ridiculously high for something that's on at 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, I don't know if they've, they've been through three or four seasons. Um, I own a few of the seasons. That is some funny shit, um, and I think it would cross over well to pinball. It's, it's a metal cartoon of a goofy band, and it's pretty offensive. Metalocalypse. Need to I have agree. it. I need that. That comes out, uh, yeah, I'll sell my Corvette and go get that. Nice. Have fun driving to work with I'll walk. Yeah. <laughs> I'll stop put a put a cot in there. So that's my ten. Um, you got your bike. Yeah, I wonder if that's gonna run this season. Why well, wouldn't we did all that? We find out that? soon. Okay. Alright. Uh, we doing Rays or my top ten now? Good job. All right, well, Jim, you're you're up. I'm up. Uh, I'll right, take take my spot. Your your ten are here, and your honorable mentions are at the bottom there. I'll do my honorable take mentions your spot. really quickly. People see enough of me. Go we'll have a seat, right? Want me to sit there? Yeah, have a seat. Okay. I'm not going to go into great depth on my honorable mentions. I could have made. A I can yell and bitch from over here. Honorable mentions, but uh, I'll do three real quick honorable mentions. Number one. How about making a pinball machine that doesn't ever break and stays working? Period. Okay, uh, built on durability. The, yeah. You can build that into my my uh, hyper hyper fast. Yeah, band. It, it would need it. <laughs> um, number two, uh, Stern, please come up with something original. Uh, not that all the themes are bad, but haven't seen an original theme machine in forever. You know, come up with something that's not comic book movie. And TV show come up with something original. Okay, I agree. Um, they have it. They have a team. You know, I got to change batteries here, so just hold that thought. Okay. Holding that thought, Randy. Where were we? Uh, where were we? We were at honorable mention number two, which was Stern. Please make something original. Oh yeah. Well, okay. Well, you know, um, our little think tank here. We came up with a couple of somewhat original ideas. I mean, they got the pros over there. They've got the designers that are the real deal in pinball. Right, but the Those issue, guys got to be chomping at the bit to do something probably, original. Yeah, they probably don't like how yeah. do the same kind of thing over and over, but understandably, you want to make something that's going to gen generally appeal to a mass of people instead of having to fight to get people to win it over. You know, you, know, I don't know. They, you know, they keep saying that, Jim. They do. They keep saying that, but yet they'll turn around and they'll build NBA. And what was production on NBA? Probably not very much. Uh, 24, you know. The, yeah, no 24. Clue. That's a That was a great show. Could have done so much with that pin. Like when you would go to launch the ball, where if, if it would have just done the beginning of the show, the countdown, boop, 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 yeah. boop. Yeah. And that, they didn't have it on that with that. And they didn't make that many of the game. And it's terrible because the only call-outs on it are Chloe. He wouldn't do, Kiefer, Kiefer yeah. Sutherland was so much of a prick, he wouldn't. Yeah. Call out. Yeah, well, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a two-sided coin because they blew it. They should have known that ahead of time and just not done it. Right. Um, production on NBA is about four, <coughs> uh, about 450. You oh, tell me they couldn't sell 450. <coughs> they they could sell 450 just anything. Right. So I I'm tired of them using that excuse. Right. I really am. But I'm uh, with you. Honorable mention number three: uh, a machine that you play with your. Pinballs with your hands. Play with flippers. Your, play with your hands. Flipperless with your balls. pinball machine with a black play field so you can't see the artwork lit up. Uh. It hits a switch, it resets. <laughs> uh. Uh. Paint it black. Life is. Okay, that was a joke. <laughs> Move on. Joke. Let's Move hear on. your list. I'm All right, top 10. Uh, Ren and Stimpy. Made, made your list. Made your list. Made your list. Ren and Stimpy. Made your list? Ren and Snippy, number 10. I, that would be great. I mean, did not know that you were um, Ren and Snippy. Is Ren and Snippy. Funny as hell. That is some funny shit. <laughs> yep. You idiot. Uh, you know, <laughs> good lord. But, you know, there's just so much you can pull from Ren and Snippy and yes. just laugh nonstop. All right, number nine. Uh, you'll see this later, I believe. Tom and Jerry. Remember watching Tom and Jerry when I was a kid? Okay. Good yeah. lord. There's so many things you could do with, with that show and on a pinball machine. Too much funny. Love it. Love Tom and Jerry. Uh, you're going to see this one again later, I believe. Three Stooges. I saw that somebody made a custom Three Stooges, mm -hmm. and it was off of an early SS game, early Solid State game. 
and I didn't watch a video on it. And it's not a DMD, so I'm sure it's not going to have you know features much features to it. But if somebody would actually produce a Three Stooges with features on it, where it's a DMD pin or even like a big screen like a Jersey Jacks doing, you know, I think that would have extreme mass appeal. Yeah, I think that, that would, would be a yeah. great pin. Um, I think so. I agree. Number seven, Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Revamping an old idea. Take Rudy's ass off the playfield, put Gordon Ramsay's head on the playfield. <laughs> and you already talked about having who cares about my family playing my machine. This is a mm -hmm. machine for me to play. And you always if you watch Hell's Kitchen, you hear how many times they gotta bleep him out. Uncensored pin. Have him sitting on the playfield yelling at you. You fucking donkey! <laughs> yeah. Well you know it would be it would be easy enough. Oh well, hell, the introduction to the one season, they had him playing a pinball machine. Really? I think it was uh, three years ago. He actually had a artwork looking like flames on the side of a pinball machine. Had him shooting balls at people running around on the play field trying not to get hit like the people that were on the show. Nice. Yeah. Okay. You were starting to say... I forget. Okay. I'm tired. All right, number six, matching up to one of yours, Guar. Okay. So much you could do with that. Just imagine all the... Like the new uh, Star Trek, how they got the lights on the side and the little A, a on the side lit up. You know how many things like they got hanging off of them. Oh, you can have yeah. all the shoulder pads on the top of the Human machine. meat grinder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, have you ever been to a Guar show? No. Oh, we're going, man. They ain't what they used to be, though. They're still probably entertaining. I, so yeah, I've yeah. been to about three or four. Number five is going to be rehashing one of yours, Metalocalypse. Too much you could do with it. Too funny. Okay. Of different call outs on there with stuff, so uh, it'd be great. Surprised and to see other. that on your list. You made me watch it. I, yeah, I, I, I've kind of forced you. I'm like, Jim, you got to fucking watch this. Funny as hell. I was sick as hell that, 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 that following day, too. I almost died. Yeah, it was a couple days before New Year's. You were sick. Yeah, that wasn't this New Year's. I think no, that was, was last year. New Year's, yeah. I was sick. But uh, yeah, Jim came over. I said, dude, you, you got you to watch this. And, and I guess he enjoyed it. That is it good funny. shit. All right, number four. You should see the one where they're all trying to suck their own cocks. Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> what the hell kind of show are you guys watching? I missed that episode, and I'm kind of glad I did. <laughs> Is this cable TV? <laughs> it's a cartoon. <laughs> on cable TV. And yeah, it's based adult on, swim. And it's yeah, based comedy, it's comedy Central. Central. It's on Comedy Central, Central based on uh, metal really? band. Okay. And they, Central. like, when they show up at shows, they land and crush people. Oh, yeah, it's, it yeah it's out of control. Out of control. All right, number four, Beavis and Butthead. Love that show. Okay. So much you could do with it. What more can I say? Beavis and Butthead would make a great pin. Just please don't make it anything like South Park, because that was a yeah, flop. Yeah, South Park was such a flop. That pin sucks. Yeah. It you know, does. Of course. That, that pin like, sucks. Well, of course, with any of these, you'd have to make it good for yeah. something you'd want to play. Well, you know, see that? The, South Park. Right. Because South Park, I think, is a great theme, and the pin sucks. Yeah, I mean, I can Family Guy. Great theme, pin is, I wouldn't uh, say it sucks, no, but it ain't good. Probably the worst animations on any DMP. Yeah, and it's just not, it's not, it doesn't, it's not funny. The best part of it, the, the match end. at the end of the yeah, game. Yeah, that's the, and that's the only spot that it's funny. Yeah. All right, number three. Um, nude slash sexy chicks pinball machine. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of would be more along the lines of having a nice 26 inch screen in the back instead of a regular DMD full screen and part of the your objective is to make your shots so that they start removing clothes it's like to, sexy girl sure ones. like sexy girl but you know a lot better than those yeah. real old looking pictures yeah and well i never saw what that were not even so much as just like a picture on there where you know you'd make your shot and all of a sudden you know a shirt's gone or a pants are gone or something. Make well, it a make it a video where it, she'll sit Well, I'm going to try to reproduce that in some of our upcoming pin features. Nice. <laughs> anyway, that was a. Um, I would have to have that if that came out. Same here. Um, go to number two. A horror theme pin. You know, similar along the lines of a monster bash, but make it a lot gorier, more graphic artwork. Darker. A lot darker, absolutely, you know, I mean, of course it's not something that's going to appeal to everybody, I can understand that, but this is, you know, something I like to see. I'd like to see something with some crazy, gory artwork on it. You know, you throw on there, you, there's obviously Freddy Krueger pin, 
and whatnot, but have Jason on there, Freddy Krueger, Pinhead, Chucky, uh, the Death Orbs, some Phantasm, all kinds of like the best pieces. Yeah, that of was movies. gory. That movie. Wow. I mean, yeah, Phantasm is an insane movie, but like get all the best killers from all crazy movies, Leatherface, you know, everything. It would obviously be uh, impossible to get all the licensing. Going. Yeah, well, you know, I, I actually just thought of one similar to that. Now that you just brought that up, which would be Grim Fairy, Grim Fairy Tales. Oh well, yeah, we we talked. About Can you that imagine one. a Grim Fairy Tales artist I mean, making right, a doing pin? a pin like that? Oh that would be incredible. God, that would be and the music is neat. And that and that would have mass appeal. Right. People well, know and, who Grim Fairy and, Tales you know, is. Just like some of the people who don't like that machine sitting over there. Yeah. There would be some who wouldn't like that. But so what? It's all opinion based. Yeah. You know, don't buy it, right? Um, I'll go to my number one, which is going to be beer. <laughs> beer. <laughs> and it's not just so much as the fact of a beer pin. Have it be along the lines of like while you're drinking beer, you start losing reflexes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. While you start missing your shots, make the game get harder to play. Yeah. When you go to hit your flippers, start. Have delays. Delays, yeah. I, I was or thinking the same have thing. Have the yeah. flippers disappear through the play field on you. Yeah. Well, like or, that, like that drunken multi ball on the cac on ball Cactus ball Canyon. That was um, funny. And, and then uh, left, right. And when uh, just the malfunctions on the game, if you miss your shots, would be pretty neat. If you get into a, d a video mode on the DMD, have like a a blurry. You see three or something. Try to get you know blurry DMD video modes done on it. You know, it I think that would be pretty. Okay. So. That's a good list. I would probably have to have that pin. And somehow, of course, you'd have to have the game dispense. Beer. Beer. Yeah. Has a tap in it. For sure. Yeah, like your ball launches a tap. Is that one of them hats with the hose and <laughs> Well, yeah, you could wear that. And yeah, you, instead of a top, you, instead of a you, topper, it's got a beer ball. It's got a beer, beer ball, ball sitting on top of it. And <laughs> if, you, if, if you hit your shots, have it start dispensing beer into hoses that run into your hat, so you get rewarded oh, with beer. Who gave me one of those? My uh, brother-in-law. Nice. I don't know if I still have that thing or not. It was blue, and had a place for two beers. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna move okay, on to Ray. Ray's top ten. Yeah, your uh, your honorable mentions are here. Can, Can you see that little print? And yeah, and start at the bottom of the. Uh, yeah, there you go. You know what? You know how to do this. What do you guys need me for? Well, I don't. I didn't mean it that way. That wasn't. That I wasn't, just mean it like I can see it. That's all. <laughs> I don't need you to tell. That was one of the honorable mentions. Yeah, well, the, the, it's uh, my third one, an honorable mention, is Beavis and Butthead. That that's matches you guys, so only that's not one of my top ten, but it, it might be. I mean, uh, anyway, uh, it's a great, I watched that a lot. They made a lot of episodes, you could, you have a lot of material to make off. Tons of material you can make off. Artwork, you got a lot of audio, you can select what you want to do. Hey, Beavis, pull my finger. How that show ever became King of the Hill is beyond me. It's just like, wow, that got so watered yeah. down. Unbelievable. And I can watch King of the Hill, but it's not funny. I, I can stand to watch it. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. But it's pretty disappointing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess the number two uh, mention would be Creep Show. That'd be a good one. I think there's a few movies, and that would make a neat pin. It would probably be on the order of... Uh, What's the Daddy East pin? Tales from the Crypt. Okay. He's sort of like that. Creep I think show. the same guy though, is it? I don't Crypt know. Crypt Keeper, is it? Mm, Probably not. Don't think Looks so. like him. Well, sort of. Similar. Uh, but Creep Show maybe. was a good. Uh, did you ever see the movie? Yeah. Is that like Grindhouse? Yeah, well, no. Um, what was what was the the one where that green stuff growing all over everything Creep kept show. spreading? Creep show. Right, but I forget the name of the actual tale in, in that part. Oh, of the um, um, I'm growing or something. <laughs> I forget what it was, but dude blows his head off with a shotgun. Well, you know who that head. dude was, don't you? No, I don't, it's been so many years since I've seen it. But Attack that, of the Killer Tomatoes. No, no, no. It was um, the guy that writes the horror movies. What's his name? Stephen, Stephen King. King. Was Stephen King? Oh, really? Yeah. It's been so long since I've seen that, but I, he was the was, the guy. Yeah. That was that was a great. One. Yeah, he goes and gets this meteor. <laughs> The flow starts growing all over everything. Oh, really? Right. I don't think I've seen that. Okay. Uh, that was put that on your list. Like, they were short tales. 
Creepshow was a movie that had three or four short tales in it, and they were neat. They were. Uh, I guess my first honorable mention would have been Monty uh, Hall, Let's Make a Deal, or What's My Line. Any of those game shows from that era. What's My Line was an old black and white one, but that'd be sort of like a whodunit thing where you could guess, you know, as you play the uh, person's trade or what he does for a living. That's what the show was about. Okay. Boring. I, I don't need that in my collection. <laughs> I don't I don't think I'm going to match with too many arrays, but that's all right. I'm not supposed to. No. Cause Ray's I... pins are all EMs, by the way. Uh -oh. These are all <laughs> EMs. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, let's see. My number ten of top ten would be a beer theme. Okay. And uh, there's a lot of ways you could probably do it. You know, it's odd that we're gonna we're all three gonna match on some stuff that's just I ain't getting there, made. You know, the, yeah, I figured there'd be at least three, so probably gonna be more than that. But. Imagine that, guys like beer, pinball, boobs, rock and roll, Man, cars. It's never been done. It's pretty straightforward. And and how you know how how Wizard of Oz fits into that, I don't know. No, it really doesn't. It's an old movie. Yeah, that wasn't any of the other things we just mentioned. But okay. You have to ask him how he did. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I want to really have that conversation with him. Okay, I don't know why. Um, he might not like me again. No, no, it's fun to talk to. He ain't I guess my number nine would be uh, <laughs> based off reality TV shows, and I think uh, Hoarders or <laughs> Collection Intervention, either one of them shows. Yeah, Hoarders definitely would fit yeah. in with pins. No yeah, I, I see an episode right here. Yeah, I see a, close to an episode. I still got some. No, I down just here. think it'd be a fun pin, a reality-based pin. It doesn't have to be those two, but there's a lot of reality shows. But something in a reality show would be neat. I got room for at least um, one more pin down here, so did. it's close. Because it wouldn't orders. be a title game; it would just be a nebulous pin, sort of like Whirlwind or something. Um, my music theme game would not be a rock theme; it'd be the Moody Blues. I think that would be a neat. Pin. The challenge would be to stay awake while playing it. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> the challenge would be to get your friends to come over and play it with you. <laughs> not Moody Blues fans. Okay. I don't even again, know what a moody blue is. Again, it's all opinion. You know, this is what you like, so I can't. Tell again, you it's a, that's another EM pin. <laughs> all I can say is their worth is what they've done in the music world. They're mega stars in the music world. Yeah. From from a long time ago to now, they have over 17 right. albums. Just like I was saying with oh, music, over 17 albums, man. Yeah. Just like I was saying before when he said Megadeth, you know, and just. Other discussions it's a that totally have been brought different up on music where pin, some yeah. guys would like to see an Iron Maiden pin. Granted, yeah. I like their music. I don't think I'd want to see that. On but it's that's all pin. metal. It's all pin. It's all metal. I mean, and that's what all the pins have ever been made of a music nature. Dolly Parton. Uh, I, think, I think I even <laughs> saw just in that discussion that's on true. pin side. Uh, yeah, but but that's, I think yeah. people saying Pink just Floyd pinball machine like. I I do like P Pink Floyd, but I don't see how it would. How it would translate you know, into you a know pin? Pink Floyd would be as bad. It would be as bad as Pink Floyd on a pin. Hmm. Prince. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. Breaking your stones over there. Now Prince, great guitars. Yeah, he's cool. I like him. very good guitars. Okay, Moody Blues. I don't think Ray's gonna say it anymore. We're busted <laughs> on all his answers. <laughs> You're gonna be walking home. With you. All right. They had timeless music. Period. Um. And I listen to all kinds of music. I, I'm, uh, my number seven pick would be a uh, um, a pin that would have to do with living in these times nowadays. It would be a, a GPS pin. Oh my! Because everybody knows and everybody has an issue with the lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you can select a different language. It's still there. Turn right and turn yeah. left. Re recalculating. Recalculating. <laughs> and. You know, today we were on the right road, I made a left, and she said, recalculating, and I'm thinking, I made a left. Well, I looked at the, map, I looked at the map, and it literally had us going around in a circle. Yeah, it, well, uh, yeah I, I did. had that happen on the film it, where it, it says, turn it was, left. It, it was, it, no, the, the, the map left. literally turn had us, no, was well, going to bring us right back to where we were, facing the same direction. We pulled off to go use the restroom, right? So, uh, when I pulled off the road, of course, the intersection has a traffic light, and <laughs> I came around the parking lot to get to the traffic light instead of going out by the stop sign because the left turn on that road had been hard. And then <laughs> the lady says, 
turn left and then turn right. <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh, I'm not full for this. Because I knew where I was going to go before I got off the road. That anyway, almost, that would be a funny pin. That would almost be along the lines of having, uh, right now with all the iPhones out there, a Siri pin. Yeah, yeah. It's funny yeah. when Siri can say, why are, Just you why are you such a bitch? That's not nice. <laughs> I don't know Who's that it would nice? have any kind of following. It'd just be a, it would just be a novelty. I would prefer that to Waz. Yeah. Would you really? And to Hobbit. Get out of here. And, uh, uh, not Hobbit, but Waz, maybe. And to Harry Potter. Really? Yeah, that a would GPS pin. Because it I would, I was it, be, it would, it would be something. It would be different. It would be original. It would be, yeah, I like that topic. Harry Potter is a Harry Potter pin. Yeah, there. I don't know. That's Say that's hello, one that people are yelling for. Hello. That's what they want. It's almost as bad as Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. Oh, yeah. God. That sounds like a burlesque. Type. I would prefer a Hello Kitty to Waz. That sounds like a burlesque title of some movie. Illicit. <laughs> It, it's it's not. We'll that show could you. Be a top we'll 10 show you what Hello later. Kitty is later. We'll do, a, does, I swear to we'll do a funny top ten list later. Changing names of pinball machines to make them sound like porn. Movies. Yeah, no, like no, no, we're we're not we're not going to, we're <laughs> not going to do that. Um, what do you got there next, Ray? Number six, I have a time tunnel. What is time? That tunnel? was an old Idea. black and white TV series in the late '60s of a. It was sort of like a. Uh, a time travel movie like. Quantum Leap, you know. I was almost about to say that's a flipperless pin, like. Nice. One of those ones you just push on and bounce it around. What? No, I never heard of it. No, I'm just, I'm just I never heard of it either. Actually, they did a pin on Time Travel, yeah, an yeah. EM pin. Cool. We have the Playfield. What is it again? The Playfield that's up there? Time Travel. Time Travel, yeah. Take a look at it. Interesting. It's the one that has the three circles, that are yeah. four circles that go down. So, what is it, some sort of sci fi thing? Yeah, it's science okay. fiction, yeah. And there were some well-known actors in it. Uh, they, it was a series that went for like three seasons. Um, right around uh, the time Green Hornet came out. What's a Green Hornet? That was a science fiction... Um, you get out of here. <laughs> um, my number five uh, pin... Okay, okay we're going to take a break at your number five because we have to take a break for our sponsors. Okay, sponsors. Our sponsors are... Uh, we're out of film. Okay. So we need to uh, clear this camera, take a break, you want a beer? You want a beer? Okay, break it down. I'm going think of it. I want a beer. Um, we'll be right back with you, folks. Back. All right, we're struggling around here. We're running out of battery, running out of film, running out of everything, Ray. Oh, man. The computer screen went dead on us there because that battery went dead. And... Hey, let's party. You, know, you guys usually do, too, and I'm not here. I forgot, I forgot the charger. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Tired. Tired. We were at number five, right? Do you remember what number five was? Drag race theme pin. Something modern. Okay. Drag race. The last one done was done by Valley that I remember early. Nitro ground, ground shaker. shaker. Yeah, yeah which has very cool artwork, but no features. So that'd be a neat title. Um, there's a whole bunch to pick from the field, you know, top field, funny car people. I mean, that'd be neat. You could do a lot with the DMD with that. Okay. Yeah, you could even use something like the uh, the toy on the Corvette pin. And make it actually do something that actually does something to the game. I think it'd be a neat yeah. car theme game. I agree. Like cars. Yeah, absolutely. I would buy a drag racing theme pin. Neat. What was your number four? I forget. Uh, Ren and Ren Stimpy, I believe. Or was it Heavy Metal Metal? Does it really matter? I don't know. I think I didn't mention Ren and Stimpy. I'd like a Ren and Stimpy. Okay, your number four well, can a, be Ren and Stimpy. That's, 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 yeah, that's a consensus. Ren yeah. and Stimpy, True. Beer, we, Beavis and Butthead, I guess they're all consensus. Yeah, I didn't have Beavis and Butthead. Oh, you didn't do, I thought you did. No, I didn't. I, 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 can, I can do without them. Uh, I, I wouldn't frown on it, but it wouldn't quite make my list. Ren and Stimpy, most certainly yes. I think my third was... Um, Heavy Metal, the old animated cartoon movie. That would make a neat pin. Awesome, awesome theme pick. Had um, great music and it was a neat, it was a cult movie, sort of. You know yeah. I mean? It was years ago. 80s? Remember that? that? Yeah, as long as he doesn't say Rocky Horror Picture Show Heavy next, it'll be okay. No, man. I got that movie. Um, you had to play it. Is that what happened? You had to play it. I woke it up. It's alive. 
poked the bee's nest. Yeah, he did. He, he, he was there. Heavy metal. You yeah. seen heavy metal? Heavy traffic? Heavy metal? Got to see those. I remember it, but it's neat music. Crazy it's stuff. I don't know who did the music, but it I'm had neat music. Man. Crazy stuff. They were metal, you know. Metal bands. There was not one band that did the music. It was all it, kinds of different It was an extremely stuff. adult cartoon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, number two, I think, would have been the Three Stooges. Did I say that earlier? I don't think you did. I don't think you did. I think my number two was the Three Stooges. You know, that would be a, a great pin to do. Okay. That wasn't on my list, but I... It's on my list, but, you know, that, that okay. was one... Partial match, so yeah. Much you could do with it. I totally agree with that one. I have to have that. And I think my number one pick would have to be the, uh, the old sci-fi show, Outer Limits, which was from the 60s. And that sort of competed with Twilight Zone back in the days. Oh? Well, well how did Twilight Zone win? Uh, he made more, and he had a... He was the narrator in the beginning, sort of like Albert Hitchcock. He probably got that idea from Albert Hitchcock. But the, um, Outer Limits did not have that. It just had the voice. It didn't have a narrator. Oh. But they were only neat shows. Um, Tales from the Dark Side? Yeah, it was uh, sort of like that, only black and white, but yeah, Outer Limits was a series ran for a few years. Um, and I think my number one, number one pick would have been The Monsters. Well, he he, he took his whole, his whole list, including honorable mentions, and then topped it with a new number one. The Monsters. Why wouldn't they make up Monsters? I don't know. That, I, was, uh, fun. that was funny. I, uh, I liked that more than Adam's Family. You Sorry. know, I did too. Um, really? Those two shows did compete with each other, yeah. and yeah. Uh, I always liked The Monsters, the Monsters was better. Fun. was funnier. Um, I, I, I don't know. You know, I think The Monsters was, was less adult. Um, okay. It was more entertaining. Yeah, yeah, well, it was it was more. Not that Adam's family was was bad, but Monsters, yeah, I mean, I, I remember <laughs> watching that all the time. Monsters was great. Yeah, I agree. I come up with that just as a last minute thing. The monsters. Yeah. I would I would it endorse. Was one the I did not write down, and I was trying to think on the way over. I couldn't think of it, but that's why I love the monsters. Yeah, yeah the monsters. <laughs> Dragula. It has every bit of chance as. Uh, hey, let's party. As Adam's family. Really. That's what? She yelled out. That's Adam's family. Yeah. It has every bit of a theme place as Adam's family would. Yeah. You could have Dragula on it. Yeah, the car. Yeah, Dragula, yeah. <laughs> Lurch. Oh, wait, Lurch? No, Lurch was Adam's family. I'm trying to think of the name of it. Herman Munster. Grandpa? Yeah, Grandpa. Grandpa. Eddie? Grandpa always had potions that didn't work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Grandpa. I mean, this, the two shows were so similar. So similar. Yeah. Well, um, the the difference being is that the monsters had the pretty girl, yeah. and she was the odd odd yeah, out. Yeah, she was a normal person in the family, <laughs> and she didn't think she she thought she was odd. Yeah, she thought she was ugly. <laughs> and, yeah. yeah. Well, all right. There you have that. Yeah. All right. Well, that's what I got. What's coming up? Tech tips? Any clue? Next tech tips? Oh, that's gonna be a. Uh, well, now this is pretty far off because we're off. because we're a, we're a week ahead we're here week working. Ahead, so we don't so know. We don't know. Next topic for this, we don't know. Uh, we do. Um, I uh, was looking through. I'm not sitting in front of the computer, which is now dead. But it was uh, Admiral uh, Admiral Unpronounceable Shadow. Shad doll. Admiral Shadow. Yeah, quarter, quarter, quarter taker. Right. The ghost quarter. The ghost quarter. Yeah, that guy. Me. Um, he, uh, what did he want? Oh, he wanted a list of the ten best, it's kind of a, a shoot off of this week's theme, the ten best unlicensed titles. It's too similar. Yeah, yeah but all, we're talking about ones well, that ones are already, ones ones already, already done. Um... Oh. You had to wake it up. You, you poked the bees, right? <laughs> you poked the bees. Well, so I don't remember it being that noisy over the shop. Um, and of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna change that just ever so slightly to our ten favorite. 
because it's hard to say best because it, it, the eras get involved too much and all. Um, our 10 favorite unlicensed titles, and I suspect you will probably pull several of them from your line, uh, but maybe not all of them. And I will probably pick one or two from your line. You had to wake it up. That's the outro music. Thank no, you for actually, tuning in. Oh, go ahead. Jim, you have the floor. We're going to follow up with, instead of the top ten reasons why pinball is better than women, I'm going to follow it up with the ten top reasons why pinball is better than men, just to make it even. I'm just going to I'm going to make that funny, too. I'm just going to reuse your exact same list. No, no, I've already started working on the list. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm going to use and your I'm, list from last week, and I'm just going to change it to Matt. Yeah, well, you can't do that. Like, if you I take the legs can't. off and dra drag no, it across yeah, the floor. Yeah, you can't do that. I already got other reasons, so we'll make a funny one on that, ripping on guys, so. Okay, um, begrudgingly, I will cooperate. Maybe you can get Mel to sit in, and she can come up with her top ten. Maybe yeah, I can just get her to show up. Good luck with that. I didn't anyway. add to all that, right? No, I don't, man. That's but, a wrap. Okay. Have you seen any of these yet? No. What's up with that? He needs to watch. No, he needs to work. Because if, if he don't work, you know, somebody's got to pay for me <laughs> spending time doing this goofy shit. He's got a point. It's a good point. Mike. Thanks for tuning right. in, everybody. Thanks I don't know if I'm on the camera in, here. You are. Uh, we'll see you again soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now. this video. If you haven't already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Want to know what's coming next? Go like us on Facebook right now. You can keep up to date with all of us here at the shop and what we've been up to. Thank you for watching.